Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting and going to episode 12 of Windbreaker. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I mean, in the end, everybody's just going to agree to this. <laughs> he just seems like a shy baby. <laughs> and that's okay. Right? Yeah. Basically, yeah. up to you. I just love how he is just going back and forth between Sweetie Cutie Patootie and, yes, Bakugou. The rolling of the eyes. I love it.
Well, you know, it's too late. Everybody already said it was going to be you, so you got to do it now. Yeah, you'll still have help. <laughs> See, and now you got thirty eight ones. But it really seems like that, though, babe. He's so sweet, though. Okay, so this has to be like a dog or a cat. Mm -hmm. No, no, he's doing something. You have different kinds. This song is really good. Like, Deadass, this song would definitely be either in Monogatari or, um... The other series, the Monogatari uh, Arthur has made, the, um... <laughs> uh, the, uh, Schoolboy Detective Club thingy. Are you okay? Oh, and there he is. That's the kitty. Uh, that's a cat for you. Oh, Sakura, you're just using your jiu-jitsu skills. That's okay. <laughs> mm. 
That's why I can't with cats. I, and I love me some cats, but uh, dogs. God dang the person! Nice jump, though. Meow, 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 meow. <sighs> See? Handful. Dogs are also a handful as too. Yes, yes. That's why I always am mindful when I open the door around Cody. Because if Cody goes, I'm kicking ass. Please. You would think that, like, at least one of them, or even any of them, would help her out in getting one of those types of, um... There's a gate that you can put on your door to divide it when you open it up. <laughs> right which is the same thing for you there is meaning though You don't see it that way, though, Sakura. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. The details on his nips. Do we have to do that, Joe? I mean, I'm not mad at it. I'm not. But, you know, there, there's one person. One person who's detailed everything I want to see. And, of course, you already know who that is. Like, you know, they, you definitely know women are definitely, like, animating this show as well. And they're like, gotta put in the accents, yes. <laughs> Clearly with the fave, because, of course, obviously, yes, in, in, in anime, we always have a fave. Details, duh. <laughs> and you did a lot of parkour and I loved it oh my god right hmm Well, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, you also need to learn to rely on everybody, sweetie. <laughs> yes, there's no I in team, but, like, you're friends. Go to her! Jesus Christ, you need sleep.
that's not unexpected. Stop saying and, you know, being, like, so bad about yourself, sweetie. Damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. And then if there's something you can't do, that's when you rely on them. If we could literally, like, recognize him as a Disney character, he definitely would be the grumpy dwarf of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> He's got it, though. Okay, start small, just like a, start with like, what, 10 people? Or is 10 people a little too hard? Then once you're good at it, test him on those 10 people and be like, bing, bing, bong, then do the next time and the next time. Because there's like, what, a group of 30 of y'all? Maybe you should go talk to him. That's the only part we're really good. That's the only time we're getting Amia in this episode. And that's okay. That's okay. I'm happy. Mm hmm. It must be important. Yep. Well, yeah, he's a fanboy. <laughs> yeah. He's such a good little boyfriend. Oh my god. Like, seriously, Mira. You didn't have to do all that.
Hi, baby daddy. <laughs> Girls, we have women! Yeah! <laughs> Bro, we have one more episode left. Okay, because see, here, here's my thing. Here's my thing. Let me say this thing. Because, like, the whole entire time, ever since I started this show, I'm like, yeah, Kota is, like, the only female character who has, like, gotten a voice. I was like, we're probably not going to get any other female characters in this show. Fucking wrong. We got somebody who will look like Maki. Maki! My weakness, because my girl crush on Maki is phenomenal. <laughs> It's Maki, for Christ's sake. Like, you you cannot deny, like, not having a crush on Maki from Jujutsu Kaisen, because it's Maki. It's Maki. Maki is, like, the best freaking... Besides Nobara, Maki is the best female character. I'm sorry, deadass. Like, even with the stuff that I know that is coming for her, and how badass she's about to be very soon in the anime, like... Top tier, once again. But no, yeah, he remembered it all. <laughs> Man, oh my god, this is cute. Oh my god, but I, I totally get how he's like, I am not cut out for this. Like, dead ass. I mean, that was the same thing last week, but it's like, when your friends know that you can do this, you really have to trust them. And, and not only was, her, was his friends, like, literally... Right. Um, not only with the fact is that his friends were like, okay, very much encouraging on him doing it. Literally almost everyone else in the classroom, once, you know, our, our uh, lovely, cute, adorable, sold hair Bakugo is over here like, yeah, you do it. Everyone was all in agreement. They see the potential. There, there are times, and especially you do see it in this series, especially with these last couple of episodes, where... Sakura is, Sakura's always been hard on himself, and he reminds me a little bit of myself, because I am also hard on myself, too, with the things that I'm trying to do, and then figure out what the fuck my, my life should be like and shit, um, and such, where he's at a moment where he's just, like, very negative, and very, um, Debbie Downer on himself, so you feel extremely bad for him, and you're like, damn, I can relate to this character so much, because... I'm going through X, Y, and Z, which is very similar to him, but could also be different. Even though, like, I could say deadass, like, both outcomes, mine and his, and maybe even yours, could possibly be different, good or bad or indifferent. But you can see how every single time he's doing something, he very much struggles with it. And it's hard for him to cope with something like this and such. And it is a very... um let's say I'm trying to think of the word um not only challenge for him it, it's going to be very interesting to see how he you know portrays this because yes he just is, he did just see like a day in a life of you know as a captain and such but it's like at the same time he's over here like shit can I really do this do I have the strength to literally deal with things like this on a daily basis how, why was I chosen for this? Like, I get it because everyone's like, okay, I have a good feeling about you. But it's like, when I think about myself at the end of the day, I, I don't think I'm like the obvious choice for this. But when people tell you, you can do this, you can do it. So I do hope that like in our final episode, because I'm wondering how the hell this is going to end next week, because it, it could once again, because we talked about this, like, I think what last week or the week before when I was like, oh, we only have a certain amount of episodes left. How in the world this show is going to end in a nice, neat little bow and such, because it feels like now we're starting, especially with these new characters, we're starting on a brand new arc with one episode left. Yeah, how, how, how are we, like, 
Hello. I, I, you know, that's the same thing with, like, because some of my shonen animes have done stuff like that. And 9 out of 10, they, what they usually do is they can do it, like, continuing in the manga, or they do, like, a half, half anime, can like, canon half filler episode where it's like, okay, hey, here's all the new stuff that's coming in, but then here's this one little middle, like, teeny tiny bit of filler BS and stuff. I don't really know. We'll find out next Thursday and such. Thank God I'm off next week. <laughs> After a hell week. I'm so sorry about not getting this out. When I came home Thursday night, I was, Thursday, Thursday afternoon, I was tired. Very tired. Imagine working four days back to back and then finally off on a Thursday. I wanted to die. I still do. Because, Jesus, guys, I got to do it again in another fucking week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode 12 of One Breaker. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. So, the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for the final episode. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.